Hi everyone, my name is Blad Maksudov and I'm a developer at Osmis working on the Adelia viewer. And today I'll show you how to add the studies to the Orthanc instance for dis to display them in the viewer, how to create new annotations in the viewer, how to edit those annotations, how to export and re-import them back into the viewer. So first thing first, uh, during our demo sessions we showed how for you how to configure and install the viewer and if all been done correctly and you follow the url you provided for the configuration you are greeted with the following page main page of the viewer and as you can see there's no studies currently available and that is because the underlying orthanc instance doesn't have any studies in it so let me show you how to add new studies to that Orthanc instance. And to do that, you take your URL and you add slash backs dash admin to it, which takes you to the Orthanc control page, which in where you can explore all the studies uploaded, upload the new studies, delete un unneeded studies, and so on and so forth. So to upload the new studies, there's a button in the upper right corner. We click that. Uh, we click the button select files to upload. Then we have some sample data prepared. Let's take that. We click start the upload button and that uploads the studies to the Orthanc instance. We can go back to the main page, click all patients button and indeed verify that the new studies have been successfully uploaded. So now let's go back to the main viewer page. We'll refresh it. And as you can see, there are now studies which we can explore. And obviously, uh, the Odelia viewer is based on the open source Oki viewer, for which all the standard functionality of the modern DICOM clinical viewer is available. And we inherit and extend that functionality. So there are also obviously basic viewer, but we're interested in the Adelia mode, which is specifically designed for labeling the studies for the Adelia project. If we click that, we're taking to the main viewport of the viewer. Uh, and here we have the study panel, which displays all the series for the currently open study. We have the toolbar with all the tools for editing. And on your right, we have the Delia panel, which has three main sub panels corresponding to different labels type. Uh, but first thing first, uh, because Odelia is Odelia viewer is built on top of the Ohio viewer, we have all the nice functionality of standard clinical viewer, such as windowing, panning, zoom and we could also change the layout to grid as needed and so let's get back to the labeling panel uh, there are three tabs one for patient la level labels for study level labels and for lesions the patient labels are consisting of different fields for which we have a predefined set of values which you can fill and also some fields are date type which you can fill using this calendar as well same goes for study labels you can pick some values fill them in fill in the dates The lesion labels are built a bit differently and to create a new lesion annotation, we select a circle tool from the toolbar and mark the lesion on an image. And as you can see, each time I create a new circle annotation on the viewport, an instance is added to the lesion table. And then naturally we can move those around the viewport by clicking in the center of the circle or we can resize them by clicking on the side. 
now let's go to the annotation lesion annotation process as you can see the lesions are created in the unannotated state and we can change that by clicking the pencil button and providing the annotation for our lesion we can then click the save button and that would change the state of the lesion to annotated if during this process we accidentally create a lesion that we don't want to have there's a small delete button located near save button and by clicking it we could delete the instance from the lesion table and from the viewer viewport now after we are done with annotating the study what we can do is export our annotation into the CSV by clicking export CSV button. That would create a new file on your computer. And we can check the contents of that file. As you can see, it's a CSV file, plain text. Here's a header and two rows, first and second, corresponding to the lesions annotated. And all the lesion information is stored in the last part of this row and all the patient and study level annotations are stored in the front there's also some additional meta information that is needed to successfully restore the lesion and the, the state of the annotation back to viewer during the import and speaking of import let's refresh the page which would clear the state of all the annotation process and by clicking the import CSV button and re importing the measurement report. We, as we can see, all the measurement state just has been recre recreated, and all the values that we filled in during the labeling process are now back in the panel. Also, the lesions are back. We can check out. Uh, there's a known bug that the state is not provided as annotated, but we're working to fix that. But if you go into the edit lesion annotation menu, you can see that all the values are indeed preserved. If we change them back, the state of lesion will change accordingly. So that's it for from my side for today. Thank you so much for your attention. Uh, once again, feel free to reach out to us if you have any troubles installing or using the viewer. And stay tuned for the viewer 2.0 version, which would include send to AI functionality. Bye. Have a good day.